Hello guys, welcome to JGK Masterclass. Guys, in today's video, we will learn how to find out the molecular symbol in the character table for the irreducible representation in group theory. We have already covered the topics like how to find out order of the group, subgroup, how to find irreducible representation, reducible representations and point group. If you have not seen those videos, I will share the link in the description box. You can watch it from there. For any suggestions or comment, you can write your comments in the comment box. So we'll see now what is Mullikan symbol and how we can find it for each irreducible representation. So some rules are there or postulates are there which you have to keep in your mind that if you are familiar of the character table, then you can easily understand how to find out molecular symbols. So that is a requirement. You should be aware of the character table. So first of all, all the one dimensional representation which you are having in your character table, if it is one dimensional means represented by one, then the symbol will be given either A or B. For two dimensional representation means in the character table, if you find two, then the representation for the monical symbol is given three. It's E. And for the three dimensional representation, if the number is three is given, the symbol is T. The second rule is or second step is then once you decide whether it is one dimensional, two or three dimensional, then you have to look for the highest hold axis that is the principal axis of rotation. If the principal of axis of rotation, the character which is given for that, if it is plus one, the symbol will be A. If it is minus one, then it is B. The next step is then you have to find in the character table whether you have the perpendicular C2 axis or subsidiary axis of rotation or otherwise you can have vertical plane of axis. So if both are given then we have to see first priority will be given to the subsidiary axis of rotation or perpendicular C2 axis. In the absence of this we will look for sigma v. So if the character is given for the respective operation plus 1 then the subscript 1 will be given or if it is minus 1 then it is assigned subscript 2. Next is if in your character table the molecular plane that is sigma h is given and the character is plus 1 then it is given single prime. If the character is minus 1 for sigma h in the character table then it is double prime. And finally you have to look if the character table is having i that is inversion or center of symmetry and the character is plus 1 then it the subscript will be given g or if it is minus 1 then it is u. So you have to learn these steps to find out the molecular symbols for the various irreducible representation for the respective character tables. We will see one example. So let's say we are talking about the C2V point group and we know for C2V point groups 2N symmetry operations are there n is the 2 here so total 4 operations will be there and we know what are those 4 operations e c2 sigma v xz and sigma v yz these are the 4 operations and for that we have 4 irreducible representation and the character table is given to you we have to find out the symbols for each representation so if you notice uh, based on the rule that you have to see if your all the characters here one dimensional then we will give subscript we will give symbol a or b so since it is one the symbol will be a or b then we have to see the principal axis of rotation which is c2 here the character is given here one so we can say it is symbol a next we will see the vertical plane vertical plane the symbol, the character is given plus one so the symbol will be A1. Subscript 1 will be given for the positive 1 value. Similarly, if you find the symbol for saw 2 irreducible representation, since it is one dimensional, it will be either A or B. Since the C2 is plus 1, it is A. And the vertical plane is minus 1, then it will be A 
2. 2 is given for the minus 1. For tau 3, we will look for one dimensional, it is either A or B. Since it is C2, principal axis is minus 1, then the symbol should be B. And the vertical plane is plus 1, then it should be B1. Then finally, tau 4, the principal axis is minus 1, it should be B. And then vertical plane is also minus 1, then it is B2. So, we have found all the four Mulliken symbols for four irreducible representation of C2B point group. And this is a way you can find the Mulliken symbols for the any character table it is given to you. So, we will solve some problems from your uh, previous years of question paper. Uh, so, you can see uh, the question is given like that. Give the meanings of Mulliken symbol A1G, B1U and A2U. So, they have given you the symbols and you have to tell what is the meaning of each symbol. So, first we will see A1G. So, same steps, the rules which we have written already. You have to just uh, tell why you are getting here A, why it is 1 and why you have mentioned here G. So, first is... It should have one dimensional representation and the highest fold of axis should be having the positive one character. Then the symbol will be given A. Like you can see here, here it was plus 1. So the symbol was given A. And then 1. So if your character table is having either perpendicular C2 axis or sigma V, which is having a positive one character, then the subscript 1 will be given. You can see here we have given 1 because it has a positive value for the sigma v. And finally g, g is given based on the center of symmetry or inversion. I should be present in the character table. So the molecule A is having the center of symmetry and the character is given for that plus 1 and so it is given the subscript g. So g says that your known molecule, the character table is having plus 1 character for that. So, this is how you can justify why it is given Mulliken symbol A1G. Similarly, you can solve for B1U that it is one dimensional representation and the highest fold is having minus one character. Therefore, the symbol is B. Either perpendicular C2 axis or then you can look for sigma V plus one character will give you subscript 1. And finally, G and U classification is given for the center of symmetry. The character must be given minus 1 to get the subscript U. So, in this way, you can say that the molecule is having center of symmetry and you can find the molecular symbol or its justification. Now, A to U, again, one dimensional representation. Highest full axis is having plus 1 character. It is symbol A. For 2, either perpendicular C to axis or sigma V, the character is minus 1 to get the subscript 2 and finally u is for minus 1 for center of symmetry subscript u and this is how you can find out the answer and write down the answer and representation for such kind of questions the question is taken from bcu msc paper the next question you can see the another type is they may give you a part of character table and uh, how you, they ask you to calculate or find out the monical symbol for the respective irreducible representation. So here two uh, irreducible representations are given for which you have to find out the symbol. So if you notice, first step is that you have to see we are all one dimensional. So the symbol must be either A or B. Then the highest principal axis of rotation is C4 for which it is given plus 1. So the symbol should be A. And then it goes to the subsidiary axis of rotation, which is C2 is given here. You have sigma V also. But first we will give the preference for C2. And since it is given plus 1, the subscript 1 will be given and the symbol will be A1. Okay. And similarly, you can find, so the irreducible representation tau 1 is having Mulliken symbol A1. Then similarly, you can see, you can pause the video and find out the answer. Then you can see the solution also here. So, it is either A or B. Highest principal axis is minus 1. The symbol will be B. And then, since C2 is given plus 1, it should be B1, molecular symbol. So, like this, 
guys you can solve the mullikan symbol i hope you can now solve any kind of problem comes uh, for any character table to find out the mullikan symbol all the best for exam see you in the next video mm -hmm.